Hi, my name is Mark. Um, I'm a graduate student here in the chemistry department at Caltech, um, and I'm planning to graduate in 2018 or 2019. With a PhD in With chemistry. With a PhD yeah. in chemistry, you bet. Um, and uh, I chose Caltech out of a number of, of different schools. I got into um, MIT, um, Illinois, uh, Urbana Champaign. Uh, yeah, Urbana Champaign. Um, University of Michigan. There are a bunch of them. Anyway, um, I think the thing that went into my choice of Caltech um, was it just being such a small school in a small environment um, where you see a really great passion for science um, or just doing work. It's not just necessarily a day job. Uh, and I found that to largely be the case. People are very involved um, and very active. Here Some people think that when there's a large number of students, large uh, campus, they think they get more networking opportunities. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I don't think so. I mean, you know, there certainly are conferences that you can go to and be networked there. Um, the professors here are very well known, um, so they have their particular contacts. Um, and a lot of employers um, come here to Caltech um, okay. to just kind of take a look. So um, what kind of research do you do? Uh, well, I work in biomaterials um, in two particular subfields, one for pancreatic cell culture, um, as well as for the assembly of microbial communities. Uh, so I'm working on two projects at the moment. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, like, uh, uh, it's very strange that you picked Caltech over MIT because a lot of MITians think that MIT is the world. So. Well, yeah, the thing that that uh, that um, sort of bothered me about MIT when I visited was um, that the students there said uh, you should come to MIT because it's MIT and that name means something. And I said, okay, I got into Caltech. Why do I want to come to MIT? And they couldn't give me a coherent answer aside from um, it being, you know, this great famous... Because it's MIT. Because it's MIT. And um, so, you know... That's, that's so what did they tell you at Caltech? Why join Caltech? Well, I, I didn't think there was too much salesmanship, honestly, at Caltech. I, I thought that uh, a lot of it was just kind of more, this is the research we do, um, and we're very excited about it. Um, you thought it's a better research fit? Yeah, I thought so. I see. Um, How many students were in your batch in the PhD when you started uh, in your department? 35, I want to say. PhD in chemistry? Yeah, something like uh, that. Who joined along with you? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, where do most people get jobs after uh, graduating with a PhD in chemistry I, at Caltech? Like I, academia, industry? I don't know. <laughs> I no, what to, do you plan to do? Academia, I'd industry? Like to, I'd like to go in industry. So, which are some of the, like, the top choices employers? Where do they usually end up? Mm, I haven't given that much thought. Uh, really? That's that. one of the most important things people worry about, right? When they're picking a program. Well, yeah, <laughs> but you know, it's, it's, I, I have You don't care time. where you end up, you just want to enjoy this. No, okay, really. mm -hmm. that's a good thing, one day at a time. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, did you have to take GRE? Ah, uh, yes. Can you tell us your GRE score? Was it out of uh, 340? Uh, no, it was it was out of... Um, 1600? I think it was out of 1600. Um, I don't remember. Quants was out of 800, so... Yeah, quant, so quant, there's a quant score and there's the uh, the reading score and... The verbal I, score. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, you know, quants usually, most people get 800 on 800, so... No, I didn't get an 800 on the quant, I don't think. Okay, so it's not so important to have a good GRE score? I, I don't think it's... Uh, I'd say it's important to have a good GRE score. I don't know about a perfect GRE score, but... I see. You don't yeah. remember your score? All right. What? You don't remember your GRE uh, no, score? No, I don't remember. TOEFL, did you have to take TOEFL? Uh, no, I'm uh, an English speaker. I uh, see. Did, where did you do your undergrad? University of Pittsburgh. Oh, so you're like an American. Yeah. So mm -hmm. you didn't have to take the TOEFL. Right. That's more for international students. Yes. Okay, so um, how do you rate your experience here on five star? Yeah, it's, I'd say four and a half, five stars. I see. Yeah. Four and a half or five. I need to know exactly. You need to know exactly. Because All I report right. on my website. Okay, uh, give it five. Oh, okay. So uh, what kind of advice do you have for future students? Uh, I'd say look into a research group right away, um, you know, figure out what it is you want to do. Um, wherever you're applying to school, make sure there are at least two or three professors that you want to work with. Um, I would actually say um, choose a research group um, or choose a school um, based on the people working there, not necessarily the research that's happening. Um, largely because there are a lot of interesting projects um, at any university that you choose. Um, and uh, but different people run their labs differently. So, so you're say saying the personality, the nature of the person is important? Yes, I'd say Why do you say that? Well, because, you know, there are many different personalities in science. Did you have a pro problem with particular personalities? Um, I don't know. I mean, some people just like, you know, more control. They just need a, a boss that's really going to hound them. Um, but, um, you know, some people, like, you know, can work better in an environment where their bosses step back somewhat. 
Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so yeah. I, You're saying get to know the people better before yes. you sign up. Yes, I'd say get to know the people. Is better that something you wish you had done better? Like get to know them better? Is that why you're saying it? Uh, yeah, I'd say that you know I, I didn't have a very good clue as to where specifically I was going to be, um, you know, working at Caltech, um, and I got lucky. I ended up working for a group that I like very much, but um, I struggled a bit, you know, just kind of finding a group and settling in. So that was difficult. All right. Now, thank you very much, right, and best of you. luck. All right. Thank you.